I don't know why I think I'll have energy after dinner. I just want to go to bed right now. Um, all right. So before the cricket starts up again, today's topics were for the Inktober side of things, we have exotic. And then for the Creeptober side of things, we've got Twilight. Exotic Twilight. That is what we're doing today. Uh, I had no idea. Uh, I had a vague image of what I wanted, but I didn't know the specifics, and I definitely didn't really know how to get there. Um, but then, little by little, I sort of piece things together in the sense that, like, for example, yesterday I was trying to figure out how to make the um, edges of the flashlight, um, like, feather a little bit more. So it's you kind of get that um, light die-off <laughs> um, around the edges. And in doing, in looking for the answer to that earlier today, I, earlier today I was looking for the answer to that. Um, I stumbled across a method to sort of feather it edges, and it had to do with an Aurora Borealis. And that kind of gave me a lot more specifics as to what to do for exotic twilight. So, um, let's get into it. All right, so the hardest part about this one was really sort of just getting started. Um, this is one of those where... It's really slow going and then it just sort of snowballs, you know, it just kind of gets faster and faster and everything sort of comes together and then you're done. And this one was no exception. So I had a lot of the elements of the idea out there, but I didn't know how to really tie them all together. And I definitely didn't really know like what the whole thing would look like at the end. So I just told myself, you know what, let's just put the elements that I that I know and I can do, just put them in position, and then let's see if that spawns the idea of, like, other elements that could maybe help tie everything together. So, put the terrain down, put our heroes in position, camera angle set, and then I worked on the first sort of section, which was the twilight, and I don't really know what twilight is, but I always associate it with, like, the state of the sky at a certain time. And then once I had all this down and I put down my first sort of um, placeholder for what was going to be a tree, uh, that reminded me of an illustration that I saw in a book once where it's, I, I think the kids are walking down this like dark forest path and then they're joined by a bunch of like different Halloween-esque creatures. It's either that or they're in a cabin and they're looking out and they're seeing all these Halloween-esque creatures kind of slowly congregate and eventually make this kind of parade. Um, but yeah, so that sort of inspired the rest of the scene, really. I was like, all right, cool. So I'm going to make this as forced, as much of a dark forest path as I can. And then we've got our little heroes running around I don't know if they stole the jack-o'-lantern bucket or whatever, but um, they're definitely going to be skipping and jumping. And I guess it's in celebration of what's happening in the sky sort of thing. It's really hard when you try to make something exotic, sort of Halloween themed. But yeah, so I only came up with what was going to make the sky exotic. Um, because I wanted a solution for the problem that I had yesterday with the um, flashlight glare sort of thing. Because then my solution was just to make a solid plane and then just kind of give it some um, transparency. But the edges were still really harsh. So what I wanted was to find a way to feather those edges. And in trying to look for that, I came across um, a method of how to do an Aurora Borealis. <laughs> so that sort of gave me my my answer as to oh, well, how do you make a sky exotic? Well, um, shove the northern lights up in there. I have no idea if this scene should be in the north, but I mean, it, maybe it might even be more exotic if it's you have the northern lights, but not in the north. <laughs> um. So yeah. So then the last sort of phase is to just get them frolicking, get them lit, 
first and foremost, and then just sort of wrap everything up. I think I'm going to, in my terms, um, or in my definition, cheat just a little bit and get a head start on tomorrow's tomorrow's prompt. 